Hey guys and welcome back. So during this wonderful quarantine time, I've been watching a lot of YouTube because what else can you do? Okay, there's a lot of other stuff you can do. But I was watching Elevation News channel and y'all should really check that out. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, I saw a video that they were talking about 10 things I can't live without during quarantine and I was like, that I'm gonna do a video like that. So I have 10 things that I can't live without during this quarantine, okay? I can live without them, but it's definitely helped me along. So stay tuned, enjoy. Maybe you can relate to these. If you do, comment down below and say, yeah, me too, same, something. Just let me know. So here we go. Without any further ado, 10 things Joe Hyde cannot survive without during quarantine. All right, first up. Let me tell y'all. Chick fil A and back and cheek. Let me tell y'all something right here, right now, because this is the last thing. Look at this. Oh, heavenly. Did I give you a fight? That's right. I got my own forks. Please hold. <laughs> This. It's so beautiful. We just meditate on that for a minute. Mm. If y'all haven't had a mac and cheese from that good old chip and y'all need to get some. Let me tell you, just get some right now. Go. Drop what you're doing. Pause this video. Come back to this video. But pause this video and go get you some good old mac and cheese from the chip and You will not regret it. Number two, y'all. <clears throat> Animal Crossing! <laughs> y'all, this game is so much fun. You really have there's no point to it, but it's so much fun. And especially when you get together with your friends and you're playing it and you're trying to do different challenges and you can get people stuff, you visit other islands. Um, Y'all, let me tell you, Jessica Black from Frank Shed, Jason Moore, that's who I be playing with and their islands are beautiful and I'm jealous because my island's not, it's not at all. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> At this point, I'm just trying to get my missions done. Now I have to beautify my island, and I don't know how to do that. And I moved all my trees to a random place, and I don't know how to get them back. I know how to get them back, but I don't know where to put them. I'm not creative like that. If y'all have Animal Crossing, please, please, please let us know your little codes. We will add you, and we will let y'all. We will invite you. Out. We can have an Animal Crossing party at an island. Y'all, that'd be fun. All right, who's down? Who's down? I'm down. Y'all got. Leave your leave your links below. I'll leave my link below, and you just we, we got this. We gonna have a party on Joe's Island, okay? We gonna have a youth party on Joe's Island. Y'all just come on over to the Animal Crossing, okay? All right, number three is gonna be YouTube. What? See, I watched a lot of YouTube in the beginning, but over quarantine, I've been like binge watching YouTube. Let me just tell you, I prefer it over TV because you can choose whatever. It's not as long. And some of them you can watch a five minute video, you watch a 30 minute video, I watch two hour videos on there sometimes. But YouTube has been a wonderful outlet because you can get anywhere from a crafting video to a gaming video to a preaching video to a devotion to a vlog to just anything and everything. And if you ever need to learn any, how to do anything, please YouTube it. Let me tell you, there's probably like 5,000 videos on how to do it. It could be the stupidest thing, but they probably got a video about it. Let me tell you, YouTube has been a lifesaver. So, yeah. But my top two favorites are gonna have to be my girl, Karen Wheaton. I watched, I binge watched her. She's got lots of sermons and she does a thing every Wednesday night where she talks to her front porch friends and we go to different places and she just gives a word that the Lord laid on her heart and I love it. And another one I just discovered is Elevation Youth. Y'all, you need to subscribe to this one because they got everything. They got vlogs, they got, funny videos, I got encouraging videos, I got messages, they got this, they got that. That's where I got this inspiration for this video. They're killing the game, let me just tell you. So, yeah, I love you too. So, number four. I'm pretty sure ain't nobody can live without this during the quarantine, y'all. Let me just tell you. My snacks and my candy. Let me tell you, this animal cookie frosted, I was gypped on this one. I thought it was like the ones coated and chocolate or whatever it is. They ain't bad though. Get you some animal and look at all this candy. I still have left. I haven't been eating it here. I've been eating it at home. I got all my stash at home. I got a drawer at home. It's my junk drawer for real, for real. I got tons of candy. I stopped up for the quarantine. Before I was afraid they were gonna shut Walmart down. 
Should've known it was gonna shut down Walmart now, please. Anyway, I've been eating all my snacks, all my goodies. For the good old animal cracker. Oh, it's a lot! Listen, it's not! Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So number five, my car. I know that's weird because you live with that every day. But let me tell you, BB, who got the keys to the Jeep? I cannot stand sitting at home, okay? A lot to my house is not good for Joe, okay? It's not good for me. So I would go driving through the mountains, um, driving here and there, everywhere. But I would stay in my car, only use drive throughs okay? I don't really like to go in places anyway. So this was helpful. I'd be driving everywhere. I drive up to the mountains. There's some wonderful dirt roads up there. If you would like to know where they're at, please, please comment below and I'll tell you. But driving on dirt roads, driving up to the mountains before like the borders and stuff got shut down. I would drive up through North Carolina, come back, I have a little, what you call it? Path that I go on. But yes, my car has been a lifesaver because it gets me out of the house. I'm so thankful for my car and that I have the opportunity to get in it and drive somewhere. And it's led to many, many adventures over this wonderful quarantine, which we might talk about in another video. But, moving on. Number six, um, <coughs> Corona. It's a good thing I brought this one up because it's gonna be some hand sanitizer. Y'all, y'all know me. I was a stickler for this beforehand, before the Corona, okay? I love me so hand sanitizer. It's so wonderful and clean. So, so hand sanitizer is wonderful, wonderful stuff. The aloe is my favorite. If y'all ever want to get me a gift, buy me some hand sanitizer. I don't know what it is about it. I've just always loved it. I get that it says that 99.9% .9 germs are killed and that 1% can be the germ that you didn't want to die and you killed off all the ones that could fight it. But guess what? It smells good. It makes my hands feel clean. And yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about the germ part of it, but that's just an added bonus. So yeah, Germex has been my best friend. And I will say that this particular bottle, I've had in my office since um, <laughs> a long time. I'm pretty sure I bought it when I first got the office. What? It's been about four years now. Um, it says expired April 2017. So it's officially 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's officially four years old. So yeah, I was like, I got my office and yeah, it's four years old. It's the work, so. <clears throat> so, hand sanitizer, lifesaver. All right, the next one, I feel like everybody can relate to this, okay? Just about everybody, maybe not everybody, but my cellular device. Let me just tell y'all, if it wasn't for this, I would not be able to survive because I gotta stay in touch with you guys, for one. Um, gotta keep up my streaks on Snapchat. If you wanna keep a Snapchat streak with me, it's at your high 15. So. I mean, you know you want to. <gasps> Did Chris send me a streak and I didn't know it? Oops. Yo! Y'all ready? Y'all ready to be my streak? Y'all ready? All ready? We got this. Got a good angle. Oh, that was horrible, y'all. Ready? One, two, three. Look at us! We got the streaks together, y'all! Alright, I'll just do that out right now. So anyway, my phone has been a wonderful lifesaver. Been wonderful, been on YouTube, Netflix, TikTok, Snapchat, the Bible app, everything. Just been on all text all my friends. See we have a little group right here with it's Animal Crossing. I'll be talking to my leaders. They're awesome. Um none of you guys have texted me, but that's okay. I got a lot of unreturned text messages, but that's okay. Anyway. So yes, phone is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I love my phone so much. I'm not addicted to this phone. I could live without it. I just like to have the um, wonderful thing called communication. So yeah, that's the biggest thing. I could live without Facebook and all that, but I like to have a thing where I can contact people. Nobody contacts me unless they need something and all that kind of stuff. I just want to talk joke, but that's okay, right? <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, what's next on my list? 
Number eight would be my friends and my family. If it was not for them, I probably would not survive, definitely would not survive this quarantine because some stuff has went down and it's been, it's been a roller coaster ride, let me just tell y'all that. But um, I love the fact that I can count on my friends and my family to be there for me and that I can be there for them and it's just a wonderful relationship. And I just love y'all so much, oh my God. Ready for this quarantine to be over because we're all gonna go get what? Mexican! That's right, we're gonna sit around a big old table. We're gonna have the biggest cheese dip I've ever seen in my life. I just, I feel it. I feel that in my spirit. I'm gonna manifest that right now. Dear Lord, please, please Lord, let there be a Mexican meal with my friends and my family with the biggest stove, the biggest bowl of salsa and chips and queso dip and all the chicken nachos. Yes, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, friends and family have gotten me through so much over this quarantine. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. I love you guys so much. And number nine. I love candles in general anyway. Um, if y'all are ever in my office, I'm usually always burning a candle. Um, when y'all come up here on Wednesday nights, so there's usually a candle burning in the back. I, I just love candles. I don't know what it is about this. This one's amazing. This is a wood candle, as you see. It's like wood, you can hear it. Let's see if you can hear it. Love it. it smells so good. It's still holding on. I didn't blow it out. I didn't blow it. See, it's still. One light, it just, oh, and it lights up. See, a wood wig. So, the candles are amazing. They smell good. They are just so peaceful, just watching it. You know, it's just wonderful. I love some candles. They've got me through some hard times. Just, I, love them. I don't like things to smell. I like to smell good and wonderful. And then we blow up for our brother turned down. We got to hate us. We say you not the haters. Goodbye. Kaka, you're free. Number 10, and I say the best for last, because you know. I could not make it through this. I absolutely could not live through this quarantine if it wasn't for the Lord. Let me just tell y'all. God is too good. Oh my gosh, he's too good. He has got me over so many things and through so many things over this quarantine. There's a lot that's happened. And I believe that a lot of people are losing hope right now, but hold on to that hope because God is here and he is with us and he has not left us. He's not forsaken us. He has promised that in his great book right here. And um, hold on because better days are coming. Okay. You got to go through the fight to get to the victory. We got this. We got this. Without the Lord, I don't know where I'd be because through the Lord, I can do everything. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Can I get an amen? All right, guys, so that wraps up this video for today. Um, if you can relate to any of those, please let us know in the comments below or message us or something. Just let us know if you related to that because hashtag relatable. Same. So let us know if you would like for your other youth leaders to do this as well because they might just have to do it. I might just make it mandatory. I felt, I just felt the wrath. You ain't gonna make nothing of me. So, just let us know in the comments below. So, as always, subscribe and like and all the great stuff. Hey guys, Tutor Joe here. As I was editing, I realized I never said goodbye. So, I said everything but goodbye. But we love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching this video. And yeah, we love you. Bye!